here's the first lick. Okay, let's think about that. So it's a little pickup. Okay, and we've got the open second string hammered onto the second fret of the second string. Okay, and then we go to the first string open. Kind of a sweet blue scale, or if you will, pentatonic major maybe. And then after that, we're going to slide to the major third. That will be in the fourth fret of the first string. And a good way to do that is just take it from the third fret. And I just tip it up like that. So. Okay, that's what we got so far. Okay, the first half of the first lick. Okay, then it goes. So same lead up. Open second string, hammer on to the second fret of the second string, to the open first string. Then you slide again to the fourth fret of the first string. Okay, and then to the second fret of the first string. Open first string, second fret, second string, back to open. So we got this. But, now watch this. This is a nice little touch. I actually just thought of this. So, slide up to the fourth fret of the first string and then slide to the second fret of the first string. So it's pull off. So, okay, so here's the whole first lick. One, two, three. Two, three. First lick. Great lick. Totally classic, okay? Now, this is more like Freddie King's version or the live version of Joe Bonamassa did it like this. The Eric Clapton version is a whole other thing, and maybe we'll get into that, okay? Same notes, though. Does it with string bends. Okay. Doodle -da, doodle -da. Okay. That's, I'm going to call it the first lick. I don't know. Um... That's four bars. Then it's going to go. Okay, that was my idea to slide up to that. I think I like it. So essentially you're taking that hammer on from the open second string uh, to hammer on to the second fret of the second string to the open first string. And you're going to, it's triplet. You're going to do it three times. And then I'm sliding from the second fret of the second string all the way to the fifth fret of the second string. Now that's an E. So I can play both strings. I can play the open E also. That's kind of cool. Okay. All right. So that I'm going to call that the second lick. Okay. So here's what we have so far. A one, two, three. Okay, and then that area ends with that same. Okay, so that same lick was uh, from what we did already. Okay, so. Okay, here's what we have so far. Okay, there you go. So that's about eight bars of blues, okay? So then he's going to go to the five chord, and he does that same pickup. So it's uh, open second string, hammer on to the second fret of the second string, to the open first string. One, two, three, four triplet. Okay, and then we go to that note. That's the second fret of the first string, and it's... So one and two and... Okay. Now that second fret of the second string, that's F sharp. That's gonna that's gonna signify going to the five chord. That's bar nine in the blues. It's the third line. And then he goes. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so you slide from the third fret of the first string to the fourth fret of the first string. 
then open first string. Then we go to the second fret of the first string, pull it off to the second fret of the second string. Okay, so okay, so here here's that whole thing with the pickup. Awesome. Okay, next lick. Okay, we've done this before, right? So open second string, hammer to the second fret, second string, first string open. So, um, okay, and then, oh, sorry. okay, and then here's the killer lick. This is like the death lick. It's the end of the phrase. This is really a turnaround lick. So he goes. Okay, now we got to break that down. Okay, so first, little groove lick there, going to an E chord. So that, this first fret of the third string with the hammer signifies E chord. Okay, but anyway, so it goes open second string, second fret third string, back to open second string. And then we go to the open third string, and then hammer it on to the first fret of the third string. Okay, so that's sweet. Yeah, you might have noticed I'm playing this barehanded now. Freddie King does that. It, it really kind of does sound a little better. Sometimes I play with a pick. Okay, and then we go up to the high E, open, and then the um, third fret of the second string open second string so okay and then we go now think of this as second fret third string with a pull off to the to the um, second fret of the fourth string but now we're going to add a little slide now my own style is after years of playing I started when I want to get this little slide, I'll just take the second fret and I'll go just the tiniest little bit in, in front of the second fret. Makes the slide really short. And it can make it sound really aggressive. Okay, so here's what we have. Okay, second fret, fourth string. Then it goes to the open first string. Then open second string, second fret, third string. So here's the whole lick. That's awesome. So here's the whole last four line, uh, four bars. There you go, okay? I mean, is that great or what, okay? I, I do want to make a point about theory. When he goes, this is the note B to the note A. So you open second string to the second fret of the third string. It's really a B7 chord. So in a way, you know, Freddie King, his thing, he's really playing out of the chords. It's almost like from a finger-picking style, okay? But anyway, that's Hideaway. Um... You know, this is a song I'm going to think pretty much every blues guitar ever has has learned this. It's well worth it. It's such a fun tune. Listen, till next time, okay? Hope you enjoy it.